Atila is a well-known political journalist, television anchor, radio host joining us now on this broadcast. Atila, thank you for taking our time and speaking to us at a time when Israel is in the grip of this massive terror attack, global sympathy pouring in towards Israel. Given the kind of uh, military Israel has, the diminished capabilities of the Palestinian terrorist outfits and the kind of intelligence technical and human capacity uh, that Israel has. Questions are being asked about how that system which has stood Israel in such good stead over the decades suddenly came apart. How is it that Hamas, in your view, was able to mount this manner of an attack without any of the capacity that Israel had built kicking in to ward it off? First of all, thank you for having me. Uh, your questions are great and uh, are very smart and are the real questions we are dealing with them uh, here in Israel in the past few days. Because Israelis are shocked by the failure of the security services and the, the intelligence services that were supposed to know what's happening in, in Gaza Strip. It's under our nose. It's not something far away. We have all the technology that is needed. Two secret services are working on gathering in information and intelligence from Gaza Strip, the, the military intelligence and the Shin Bet, the secret service. They all work exactly in, 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 in this field of, of knowing what's happening with Hamas and the Islamic Jihad and all the other terrorist groups. And they were blindfolded. They were totally in the blind spot. They had the blind spot. They, they were in the dark. They knew nothing. Uh, the attack on Saturday morning at 6.13 on, on, the, on the fence and on, on the military base that, that is uh, situated next to the border, it was, it was a shock for everybody. Nobody was prepared for that. So the questions that we will be in, uh, you know, uh, asked and are being asked right now already, what happened? Where were you? What did happen with the secret services? How come nobody knew anything about the fact that the Hamas is preparing for a long time, I have to say, almost a year, such an attack on civilians and also on military um, targets. Do you think that because the government of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu uh, was taking on the judiciary, there have been protests across Israel, including from members of the armed forces, the reservists, several of them coming out protesting against uh, what was seen as an attempt to take over the Israeli judiciary, is it because of that you think that there was a certain level of complacency, internal, domestic attention, divided uh, by the efforts of the Netanyahu government? Because some of this, especially given the kind of ferocious reputation of the Mossad and the Israeli Defense Forces, uh, to us in India seems quite inconceivable. It's inconceivable even here, but I wouldn't mix between all, all the you know, parallels and uh, all the elements that you mentioned, because yeah, there the, the, the was a tough year here. The last year was very tough, democracy-wise. Um, hundreds of thousands of Israelis uh, needed to go outside the street in order to, to protect Israel's democracy vis-à-vis um, -vis the government that decided to make some reforms and to, to, to strengthen the, you know, the, the, the executive in front of the judicial system. So, yeah, there is a Chinese wall between different parts of the Israeli society, but it doesn't mean that the security services or the intelligence services have to be less good. It, you know, the, 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 the impact on what's happening, it's, it's of course very wide, but we, we, nobody expected, um, you know, there is nothing to do that has nothing to do between a demonstration and what the intelligence knows or doesn't know. You know, it's, it's, it's totally different. I agree with you. Uh, the enemy saw a divided Israeli society since 1948, Israelis fighting for its existence. Uh, we had a few wars and lots of operations in Lebanon, in Gaza, in different places. And always the Israeli society was very, very together. Um, that was the, 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 the specific of the Israelis. They know how to come together when uh, the, the, the days are harsh and the times are harsh. And the past year, and the prime minister, by the way, was, was all the time he was warned. It, he was warned. Uh, the enemies are watching, Israel society is, is weaker, people are not together as they were in the past, the, 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 common, um, you know, the common mission to build a, a Zionist democratic society is not the same because you know, two parts, two camps, two political camps have divided and they, they were pro-democracy, anti-democracy, uh, the existing democracy, so of course every society that has to deal with something like that is weaker. Um, the impact 
is um, is it may be on the society it shouldn't be on in gathering the intelligence you know it doesn't have any impact on the cameras or the satellites or the the, the, the balloons or whatever they have there to intercept information so uh, the, the problem is is now uh, what's going to happen next um, will the prime minister form a new government will he bring in the opposition to have a national you know national uh, emergency coalition or, or a government uh, many questions are being asked right now, but it's it's pretty clear that uh, Israelis today are mostly shocked and in a, in, a, in a deep trauma after what happened. Attila, the option of a full-fledged ground invasion of the Gaza Strip has been considered but not implemented because of the severity of the consequences for the Gazans as well as for the Israeli army. Uh, given this uh, audacious attack, do you now think that Benjamin Netanyahu, who has positioned himself as this patriot, true nationalist, it's actually forced his hand and that there is a very likely possibility now of a ground invasion? Well, uh, you know, Benjamin Netanyahu is a prime minister for 2009, so uh, he promised back then that he's going to you know, dismantle Hamas and destroy its infrastructure, and uh, all this is, is in the vein, of course, and nothing happened. Uh, we had a few operations in Gaza, but they didn't bring a, a, a long-lasting peace or a quiet situation. Um, but after the atrocities that we are witnessing every day, unfortunately, we are talking about more than 700 people butchered. By, by Hamas, but that we, we should call them ISIS because they behave like Nazis and, 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 and the worst kind of people that you can imagine. Uh, of, of course, it, it, it will bring with it a, a larger operation, a ground operation, terrestrial operation, something deeper. Um, now that the defense minister, Yoav Gallant, said he, what has been is not gonna, what, what's going what's gonna to be. You know, it, I don't know exactly what does it mean. I, I know that there is an organization that we are dealing with in the past, I don't know, almost 20 years since the disengagement. Israel left Gaza. Uh, people have to know that. The public has to know that. Israel is not controlling Gaza. We left it to the last centimeter. So we are at the, at the, at the international border. It was recognized by the UN. Israel is not inside Gaza. Um, but since then, since the disengagement in the summer of 2005, uh, thousands and hundreds of uh, tens of thousands of rockets were, rock, were, were, were sent into Israeli cities and in the kindergartens. We, we are lucky to have the Iron Dome system that's intercepting all these rockets all the time, most of the time. But, but, but now the question is whether we can afford ourselves uh, to continue in this crazy neighborhood of the Middle East to not go deep inside and destroy Hamas. Uh, and that means a terrestrial operation with no doubt do you do you uh, are you concerned about the possibility of an escalation of the hezbollah getting involved there's been a lot of talk yes. of uh, how iran potentially greenlit funded backed armed the hamas so how concerned are you that this conflict could escalate first to the hezbollah and possibly then uh, further in the in west asia everybody is concerned about hezbollah everybody is concerned about what's going to happen everybody is concerned with uh, with the fact that in the northern part of Israel there is a, a terrorist organization that has hundreds of thousands of rockets, more precise, uh, more accurate, uh, deadlier than, than Hamas, of course. Uh, they have the hundreds, tens of thousands of, of uh, militants uh, that are very well uh, trained. Uh, they have uh, the backing of Iran, they are Iranian proxy. And we are all watching and waiting to see whether the Iranians uh, are going to push the button and... and, and uh, uh, tell Hezbollah to enter this war. Um, undoubtedly, there is an importance that the U.S. and the President uh, Biden, uh, he, he strongly condemned what has happened in the South, and they also said that Israel has its own right to, to protect itself, but mostly, and more important, uh, uh, he sent here some carriers in order to, to, to send a message, and uh, the Americans are sending here weapons and, uh, and, and, and you know, missiles and all, all Israel needs. Israel doesn't have a better friend than America, and, and, and this is, we see this at this moment, right? Um, how important it is to have the backing of the Americans and how important it is to have uh, the U U.S. president uh, uh, backing Israel. So, so you know, I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't like to be a prophet because I have no idea, but of course the, 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 the escalation is something that can happen. We all hope that the American pressure will work and uh, Israel will have to deal only with Hamas and only with the Gaza. Atila Sompalfi, this is a very, very tough time for your country. Our thoughts and prayers. 
with the people of Israel as they come to terms with the scale of the attack, the losses, and how those famed Israeli intelligence agencies didn't step up to this particular challenge. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you that. so much. And uh, it's also a great time to say how, how, how much Israelis love your country, India, and uh, how close the two nations are. And uh, we hope to be in a peaceful time and to visit India again. And you oh. visit us. Oh, absolutely. It's a very mutual and reciprocal feeling. Uh, Atila Sompalfi, thank you very much for joining us. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much.